Now we're getting somewhere. Do you have any idea what you're doing, Major? Just a sec. <laughs> yeah! Gotcha! Let us nice! Easy. When warmth and beauty mingle, at the path's turn, a carcass lays sprawl upon a bed of shingle. Legs raised like some old poor, far gone in passion, the burning deadly for the... Yes, found the head. We gotta keep moving. Charles, any idea how much time we got left? I cannot say for sure, but definitely not much. Finally, I got all her parts. So, what was wrong with the real beta connectors? Since Collective was originally planned without any discretionary authority, everyone in it was supposed to be equal. Yeah, we already talked about that. Then why'd they need the beta connectors? Yeah. To secure Collective against unforeseen threats from individuals who might wish to control it. That's impossible. Everybody's equal in Collective. Shit! The Alpha Connector! Indeed. Intruders or an opposition force among equals could try to obtain the Alpha Connector. This could lead to human casualties, which right. would be unacceptable. Installing the so head. how could Beta connect? All her body parts assembled. What now? Self-repair procedure complete. I am ready for service. Thank you, comrade. We will now initiate the launch sequence. First launch code sequence generated. Please confirm that launch code sequences match. Second launch code sequence generated. Launch code sequences match. Initiating BDNH mode of operational change. New mode, military drill. Whew, I think we made it. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, dear comrade. Please, comrade Molotov, I beg you. It's not safe here. So it's still dangerous. I was told everything was under control. There was a minor issue, but Major Nichayev, uh, forgive me, Agent P3, has already dealt with it. What exactly did he deal with? There's blood all over the place. That's not blood. It's paint. Comrade Sechenov, you're playing a dangerous game here. Greetings, Comrade Molotov. I don't follow you. What game? You know what I'm talking about, Comrade Sechenov. Your local malfunction is actually a worldwide catastrophe. Your robots in combat mode. Countless human casualties. Need I go on? Oh, please do. But first I'd like to know how you obtained this information. From Viktor Vasilyevich Petrov, your engineer, an outstanding roboticist, an honored citizen of the Soviet Union. That's what he used to be. Now he's prisoner number 230385, sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. By your order, you are in direct violation of Soviet law. As a minister, the minister of industry, you know the consequences. Here is the procurator general's decree. The upcoming launch of the collective neural network will be canceled. And you'll be the subject of a full-fledged investigation. Am I making myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Comrade Molotov, may I have a word with you in private? <laughs> Do you really think that's going to change anything? <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes. 
Mikael, meet me at the landing pad. Right away, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Aren't you in a hurry to see your master, Major? Stockhausen seems awfully eager. Is something wrong, Major? Major, I asked you a question. Lock the door. What's going on? I said lock the door. Damn, this is brutal. P3, my boy. You're alive. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Comrade Sechenov! The government commission... They're dead. Molotov's body is here. What about the others? How many people were with him? F Fifteen or so. Some of them may have survived. Find out. Uh, what the fuck happened here? Who the fuck did this? Guess the robots got in. You were we forced did that. to escape unharmed. C Comrade Sechenov, all the members of the commission are dead. All of them. This is tragic, but it changes nothing. Collective must still be activated. I couldn't agree more. But what should we do with the dead Politburo member? We don't have a lot of options here. Right? Handle it. Mikhail, head to the radio station and make sure power to the government line has been cut. Make it quick. Yes, sir, but the Kremlin will be expecting a report from Comrade Molotov. I will mm, personally sexy bitches the robots. Of this mm. tragedy. Hurry, Mikhail. We don't have much time. Left. Help her. How are you doing, my boy? Not good. 
I failed you again. This is too much. It's too much for all of us, this terrible incident. So they get freaky in bed. Hmm. their keys. Shit that I just see right now. I see their ballerinas. What? The, what was that? A tribute to the departed. A conversation of. We've got a problem. The central hub is broadcasting. Someone is trying to send information to the West. Who? Who could have done that? There are only two people who could have done it. You and Petrov. Petrov's dead. I saw his body. Just his body. Petrov is first and foremost a head. It was his body. How's that possible? Filatov. Hmm. When your accomplice is a neurosurgeon of Dr. Falatova's caliber, then anything is possible. Have you traced the signature? Vitov is masking his signature, but I'm sure he's in one of the scientific centers. Did you hear that, my boy? Go find him. Right now. Okay. 
can't believe we just killed all those people because when we were going through that dream loop thing by the way if you don't want to go through those missiles you can just fucking go through the sides and then bam little cheat thing i just figured out about that and that's why he was so worried about uh asking him to close the door as well charles what the hell happened down there what exactly are you asking about Sorry, I cannot help you. Charles, why did that monster, you know, the red polymer thing, the, the data storage, why did it look like a person? Dr. Sechenov's idea. He wanted it to move independently. Why would a data storage need to walk around? So it could run off someplace and get lost along with all its important information? It won't run off. It's as loyal to Dr. Sechenov as the ballerina twins. When Dr. Sechenov releases it into the outside world, it always remains near him as an additional security measure. Security? So it can attack people? What do you think, Comrade Major? Why would a neuropolymer substance capable of dissolving a human being in mere seconds need to be able to move independently? Shit on a shingle. You're telling me that Jelly Man can sneak up behind someone and kill them instantly without leaving a trace. It does remind me of a certain person who died under mysterious circumstances and without witnesses after slipping and falling into a bath. Crispy critters. Yeah, makes you think. 